Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name is Soleil and I garden in a zone 5B in mid Michigan. And today we are out in the back garden and we are going to make some topiaries out of a couple of arborvitas. So let me show you a little bit what I'm talking about. So I have two arborvitas that are going to eventually get too big for this space. This one, and then I have one down at the end over here that is about the same size, just slightly smaller, that are going to get just as big as the really tall ones there. And they're going to smash into the power lines if I don't do something with them. I was thinking about moving them, but then I thought to myself, you know what? I really like having evergreen structure in the garden. And I had a problem with my arborvita that is over here in this garden bed where I was unable to see the fountain through it as it got larger. And I thought I was gonna take it out, but it was too big. So I figured why not try and make a topiary out of it and see if that works. And sure enough, it worked out really well. And I have really enjoyed having it in the garden. It's beautiful in the winter time. It's beautiful all summer long. And it really brings a little point of interest because it's just something different. I've never seen anybody prune arborvita into topiary before so I didn't know how that would work but I've had this one for several years now and it just continues to do really well so I think we're going to give it a go with these small ones. So this one here is the smaller of the two and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make them into two balls similar to the one that I have that I just showed you but obviously they're going to be much smaller now. I did measure to check the height on them and you can see I kind of tapped them off right at a similar height because I wanted to make sure that I had kind of, um, I don't know, knowing what height they were to begin with. And I think I'm going to have to take them down even a little bit further in order for them to kind of match a little bit better just because that's not going to provide a very large ball at the top unless I wait for a while. So. Um, we will um, start with this one and then when I'm done with this one I'm going to do some measurements so that I can do something similar with the second one because it's bigger I can trim it down and try to make it match this one better than just starting and trying to do both of them the same all right so I've got my gloves and um, we're gonna get going on it so I just have some of my regular hedge pruning shears right here that I like to use to trim boxwoods and such. They're very nice and precise. I know a lot of people hold them this way, but I like to hold them this way because it, I don't know, it just feels better to me, more ergonomic, and I feel like I can make the cuts better. So really at this point, I'm just kind of eyeballing it and cutting it down to where I think I can make a decent size ball. And I'm not worrying about the clippings right now. I'll worry about those later. I do have a side stem on this one, and so I have to decide. I think I'm going to need to keep that one in order to keep the bottom bushy. So we're going to try to make this into a two-stemmed topiary, kind of like the other one. So it'll be interesting to see how many stems uh, the other one has that we're going to prune. And these will not look, you know, uh, like topiaries right away. These will take some time to actually fill out. All right, there is a larger branch in the middle here. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. There we go. Okay, I apologize if this is a little out of sync. Um, for whatever reason, my recording stopped. So now I'm just, I leveled this off and I'm trying to just kind of clean it up a little bit, beginning to kind of round the edges. And this will not be a perfect ball when I'm done. If any of you have ever started topiaries, you also know that they don't start out perfect. They take years sometimes to actually develop into what is a final product. And some things are easier to topiary than others. 
these can be kind of a fun project. You just never know how they're going to turn out. I'm just kind of rounding the bottom in now. All right, so hopefully that will give you a little bit better view of kind of what I'm doing here as I come through and just shape up the bottom. Because Arborvite is right there, more dense at the bottom, they kind of get wider. And so I want to curve the shape under. And even after I topiary these, I still might move them to a different place. But at least, um, you know, if I want to keep them here, it will be an option. You definitely have to keep looking at these from like different angles and everything. It's better to take off less and come back later and fix it than it is to take off too much and have to wait it for it to grow back. coming along pretty well you guys well it's coming along quite well at this point what I need to do is clean up some of these little sticks that are in here and I may make the top a little bit shorter like cut the top down just a skosh more I just grab my secateurs for this part that way I can get in here and get some of the thicker branches out and just clean this area up. I think I need that branch there, so I'm going to leave it for now. And you'll see some dead brown, you know, foliage on the inside of these plants, which is totally normal. But most of it will just brush off. And I'm just gonna snip this center down a little because it's very thick. And that should help me with being able to round off this top a little bit better. So 
So hopefully you can see how that has kind of come out. Again, not perfect, not full and lush yet, but pretty darn good for a start. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure this, see what the height is of it, and kind of check out the height between the balls, and we will then go and do the other one. So right now this is at about 45 inches and the bottom is at about 32 and 26. Now you know what they say about measure twice, cut once. We're going to do that here. I think I said 42 inches, but I'm going to measure one more time. All right, so I see 45, 32, 26. So 45 is right about here. So I'm just gonna come in and lap off the top. And then I said 32, so I'm gonna make a marker right in here. Down to 26 is what I said. So right about in there. All right, so now I have my top and that's where we'll start. And then I'm gonna start my bottom right about here is what it looked like. And the top of this will look a little bit bare if you look at it from the top, but that's okay. That starts to fill in after the very first year. Because this one's a little bit further along, I'm going to take out some of these branches here. And again, just trying to make sure I'm only leaving the ones that I really need. So we can expose that inner trunk. I'm going to leave this side one because I don't want to take that whole thing off, but we'll take off a couple. And just take your time when you're doing this kind of thing, you know. A really fun project. I'm just trying to show you it kind of quicker so we can fit it all into the video but I will definitely come back through here and do some fine tuning afterwards. smells really great as I do this. This one is definitely going to be way, way more full if those are words that go together. It's going to be a lot more full 
than the other one is on the bottom. Just because it is a bigger tree. So we're gonna try to kind of make them fairly similar as much as we can. Now I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure again. Let's see how close we are. So 26, I need to take this down a little bit lower, which is perfect. 32 is right at the bottom there. And we're at right around 45 here. This top could come down a little bit further, I think. I feel like a lot of time, the more you try out in your garden and the more experiments you do, the better and more confident you get at doing different things. Because you realize that, well, the only thing that can happen is like I can kill a plant or it could look bad and I might have to replace it. But you try on things like this where it's like, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep this arborvita or I think I'm gonna move this arborvita. Those are perfect opportunities for you to test out something new. Because why not? Nothing to lose, right? Okay, I'm just going to take you in a little closer so you can see that. You can see at the base, I have some trimming up that I need to do too. So we'll be taking the greenery off from around the base as well. starting to come together, isn't it? So I could tweak on these for a really long time. And in fact, I'm probably going to continue to do a little bit more pruning on these, but I just want you to see how they initially have turned out. And then you can kind of watch them in the garden. Now, as I kind of come around this way, I see that I have a little bit more heaviness on this side. 
So here's what we'll do with that. Just come through, kind of clean it up a little bit. And as you prune these and they grow out, they'll get thicker and thicker. So if they look a little bit thin to start with or sparse up here up top, that's okay. And make sure that you don't do this when it's, you know, super, super hot out. This is the evening. We actually just had probably half an inch of rain today. So it's perfect timing. All right, well, that looks a little bit better to me. A little more even and pretty cute. I can't wait to see that fill out. And then we'll come down here and check out the other one. See if there's anything that we notice now that we've been away for it for a little bit. You'll see the back side of it. it looks a little bit dented in because it doesn't get sun so much from that end. And we want some more to fill out on the front as well. But this looks really, really good. I'm really thinking that these turned out pretty nice. This one actually, because it's smaller, we um, have a little bit thicker growth because we didn't have to take it back so far. Um, but like I said, they're both gonna continue to grow on and fill out. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video and you know, got a few tips and tricks about creating topiaries. Maybe try something in your garden that you think would turn into a nice topiary. Something that you might be thinking about getting rid of, maybe give it a shot, who knows, why not? Well, thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time. 